the thumb saver has become the critical thing in my evolution as a therapist because truly my thumbs got burned by doing so much neuromuscular therapy. And it wasn't just the direct pressure. It was the turning and the twisting of the thumb and taking it up this way and, and then applying pressure or doing side glides with the thumb. It is so changed in the joints down, in, down around the base of the thumb that I was critically uh, thinking about uh, another line of work. The value in this is to be able to apply sustained pressure anywhere it's needed for as long as it's needed in just the right place with no threat to the thumbs. The thumb is not even involved in that. In fact, people come to class and they'll grip the tool so tight that they'll say, this hurts my hand. But in reality, it's a loose touch. Just the, the design of it, the fact that it's an L bar rather than any other shape, lets the pressure be on the thenar eminence of the hand and able to put pressure with almost no holding power of the, the holders. These are sensors, remember. The thumb and the forefinger next to the tip. That way I have two very important sensory devices leading to my brain. Add that in with my index finger as I'm going along, and now I've got three sensors leading to the brain to help my, my brain get the message that's coming through this rubber tip. And guess what? People come into class sometimes and they say, oh, well, I wouldn't use a tool. I wouldn't want to do that. I certainly can't feel with a tool. But it turns out that with practice, they do. There are people sitting in this room right now that have indicated to me that, yes, after diligent practice with this, I can now really feel f through it and able to get that sensitivity that I'm looking for. So this has become paramount in this program. And I have students writing me and telling me all the time about how important has it, been, it has been, how it has extended their uh, career and changed dramatically the impact of doing quality therapy on their thumbs.